Yeah, hi there. Um, these comments are for, I'm just going to say the initials of your name, SD. And uh, your question, it looks like you have the TOEFL test coming up. It looks like this weekend. And good luck to you. And you're also one of my students at my online course called the 7-Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. And uh, your question here is, you said you're a little bit anxious about the speaking section because of my accent. I know you can't predict the future. You say, I wanted to know if you have one or two uh, advices for me because um, you want to see here taking the TOEFL this Saturday. I do. Before you take the TOEFL on Saturday, make sure you take a look at the lesson. You might want to write this down. It's in the grammar part of my online course. Uh, it is an it is a uh, some tips from Tadu, who is one of my students, used to be one of my students, and she scored 109 out of 120. And it's it's TOEFL grammar lesson number five, and she will give you some really good tips on what to do on exam day as you go through the reading, listening, speaking, and writing sections. So that would be a really good tip. And uh, that way I don't have to explain everything in this particular video now. But again, take a look at TOEFL Grammar Lesson Number 5. Now, <clears throat> you have, I'm a little bit anxious about the speaking section because of my accent. Uh, so, what you have to do is you try to relax a little bit. Remember, during the test, I think this Saturday when you take it, is you do want to be careful about your pausing. You want to make sure you're not pausing too much. You don't have too many hesitations in there. And uh, also make sure you're doing okay with your tone. So, and then you want to be pretty good at your word stress. So these are three specific areas that the IBT Human Raters will look for in your pronunciation on Saturday. So if you need to, go to the pronunciation uh, part of my course and review the lessons on word stress, intonation, and thought groups and blending. I know it's quite a bit there, but that's going to be very important for you. And if you prepare, hopefully you won't be too nervous. Now, being nervous is okay, though, uh, SD. Everybody is nervous a little bit when they take a big exam, you know, like the TOEFL or the GMAT or the GRE. So don't let that worry you too much. But remember that if you're prepared, and you feel confident, hopefully, you can reach your goal. And uh, good luck to you. And anyway, thank you very much for your email, and I sincerely hope that you do reach your goal this Saturday. So hang in there.